you're gonna try and jump over that, you're gonna just fall right through the muck. God, are you gonna video this? <laughs> you going for it? You're gonna push, and your yeah, gonna foot's stuck. gonna sink, and then you're gonna fall in the water. <laughs> Do you have your phone? Oh! oh <laughs> I told you something like that was gonna happen. Oh, yuck, it's stuck. <laughs> no! Hajime! Hello, welcome back to Pole Vault Vlog 90. Sean, this is Pole Vault Vlog. You just talk about training all the time, and you haven't talked about training at all yet. Just talk about training. I guess starting last year, I had this idea that my posture, I just didn't like my posture, and it was causing a bunch of things that were hurting all the time. So I really ramped up postural stuff last year, and um, it really took a toll on my central nervous system. Hardcore. So, um, I made some big time changes this year. So instead of doing three neuromuscular days, two pole vault days, and a tempo day, I switched it to pretty even. Two pole vault days, two extensive tempo, and two neural days. So I started cycle two this week, and so Monday I was supposed to do pole runs over hurdles, but it was super windy. I tried to do a midi hurdle stride ladder, but there's 20 mile an hour winds out here. 25 mile an hour winds. So the hurdles blew over. I was like, I'll just run with the pole. And then the pole, actually I was running sideways. Like, I was here and the pole was this way. So that's not very good technique. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just gonna do sprints. And even when I was doing sprints, I was running and it was blowing me into lane four, three, two, and one. <laughs> so we modified the workout. But it was kind of fun, because it was just was so ridiculous. So that's Monday. Let's go film some weights. This one's gonna be weird. Tuesday, I pole vaulted. I didn't take any footage of it because I'm trying to think more of how it feels, or I'm trying to feel more how it feels instead of see what it looks like. So I'll try and get some video down the road, but I'm trying a new approach to try and feel the vault more than look at it and analyze the shit out of it. <laughs> Wednesday, I did a treadmill hurt. I did a treadmill workout on a hill. Just finished a treadmill workout on the hill. Here's what it looks like. Gotta make sure I don't show too much. Because it's a treadmill workout, when I'm supposed to go up in elevation, I just wear a weight vest and then try and run faster. <laughs> I don't know how else to do it. Thing is, is, I got those treadmills a year and a half ago. I bought them from the high school, so they're sitting in my garage. I was hoping I'd be able to figure out how to get them to work but I haven't figured it out yet, or have a place to use them to work. Hence why I'm doing a treadmill workout off of a treadmill on a hill called Featherstone. All right, let's go do the circuits and call it a day. Okay, so you know I said I had the treadmills, they're out of commission? Well, underneath all of my dad's tools is one of the treadmills. And underneath all of my 
snowboard, mountain bike, kite, mountain bike shoes, and tubes. Next to all these poles is the other overspeed treadmill. And if you're saying, hey Sean, they look a little smaller than they did when I saw you in the video. That's because all the exterior parts are under there. And you can tell they've been there for a while because look at all the weeds. So, if you guys know how to get a somewhat inexpensive three-phase converter hooked up to a home, or if there's a converter for it, let me know so I can use it all winter. All right, see ya. Thursday, I did in and out. Two things. Last time I talked to you, the camera, or the vlog people watching, I was this close to the camera. And when I reviewed the footage, I saw that I needed to clip my nose hairs. Cause that's pretty gross. And then I thought, God, how am I gonna not use that footage but still say the same stuff? Cause that's embarrassing. And then I realized that's my ego trying to like hide that, hey, the perfect Sean doesn't have nose hair problems. But the real Sean did. <laughs> and I fixed it. No more. Long ones at least. <laughs> Two. Part two, I'm doing in and outs. Long story short, I'm running for 30. I'm gonna be relaxed for 20. Gonna attack for 20, tall for 10, and attack for 10. That's a total of 90 meters, if I did my math right. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, two of them are with this weight vest. Let's go! And I was supposed to do weights, but it's MEA. And I don't know if you guys know what MEA is, but the school is closed, so I couldn't get in there. So instead of getting all discouraged that I couldn't get into the weight room, I just was like, eh, it is what it is. I guess I don't do weights today. <laughs> That's perfect. Friday, I pole vaulted again, and it's been going actually pretty well. I've been pretty, it's been fun looking at it in a new way. Me and my old man have just been tackling my vault, and it's been, it's been good. Let's just say that, it's been real good. And then Saturday, I was supposed to do eight 200s, and uh, instead of going to a track, because I was at Carrie's house, I just ran down her street. And people were staring at me weird. I thought I was stealing something, but I wasn't stealing nothing. And that's all right, because it's probably, people are used to seeing people jogging down the street, and I'm sprinting pretty quick down the street, and it probably looks funny. So that was my week. So as for the Zen Buddhism stuff, I have definitely still been doing that, and it's really, molding and warping my brain into something it's never been. So this week I've been trying to figure out what is my face before my parents were born. It's been kind of fun because if you think about who you are before your parents are born, it kind of makes you figure out what is the ens essence of who you really are. My, I'm not really Sean Francis, a pole vaulter, a skydiver, uh, who has a master's degree, who created Team Hoot. That's just stuff I've done, or some people call me inspirational, or funny, or crazy, or whatever you want to call me. Those are something somebody is creating around me. When I was born, I wasn't any of those things, or before I was born, I wasn't any of those things. Or you can also create that idea of who you are, like, I want the world to see this part of me, so you try and create this thing that isn't really you. And so that's what I've been kind of searching. I don't know if I'm losing you yet, but you are not your name that was given to you, and it can be taken away. <laughs> Someone can change your name today if they really want to. It costs $300 and your name can be changed. <laughs> So a couple of big things that have helped me with this. One, Carrie's sister just had a baby, and so I'm holding the baby, I'm looking at the baby, and it is like... Like a drunk midget, kind of. Like, no, that's not appropriate. A drunk little person. An intoxicated little person? Whatever. I watched you be created inside of somebody, and now you are here. What were you before that was created? Were you had to exist somehow in the fabric of space time and nature it's just messing with my head right so i'm looking at this baby and i'm just like my mind is blown and then i started thinking about kids in general and how kids just do what they want to do and they react to life and they just go everything off their instincts and the more they are alive the more they are molded into something that isn't what they started out as so then i started thinking well what was i before all this happened and for as long as I can remember, I've always been super curious. And if you guys have been watching these vlogs for a long time, you can definitely probably see that, I would think. I don't know, it's hard to see yourself um, compared to what other people see. I'm always, what if I do this? How did that happen? I'm always asking questions. And so when I am asking questions, I feel like that is like my true self. That's me just 
trying to explore the world. And a lot of little kids are natural explorers anyways, and then sometime throughout their life, it's kind of stomped out of them. I'm deconstructing what I think I am and what the world thinks I am and trying to get to the root or heart of it and figure that out. And it, essentially I'm trying to figure out what your intuition comes from and where that is from. And I think I've unlocked a big secret that a big part of mine is curiosity. So I'm following that path for now. Three things and then I'll get out of here and this vlog will be over. One, I want to thank you guys for watching the North Dakota Elite video. It actually was one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. For the sheer fact, if you watch the video, you can kind of see that it just blew my mind that I did not know what cheerleading is or could be. And it was fun um, being around people like Brad and Chelsea who are making a huge difference in this world. That's contagious. It's contagious being around people like that and it makes you want to be a better person too. So that was really fun for me. All right, last two things. I got these Team Hoot stickers. They're pretty cool. I'm trying to think of ways to get rid of them. So I might sell them on the website if you guys are interested or just give them away for like contests or something. Or I'll hand them out at meets. So if you come see a meet and I have stickers, I'll give you a sticker. So Cool. Stickers. Yeah. Two more quick things. This is part of the last one, so that's why there's still two left. I'm not really screwing around. Um, Instead of t-shirts this year, I decided I'm just going to make official Team Hoot jerseys. The same jersey I'm going to wear this year. I don't know how much they're going to cost, but um, I'm going to get high quality material. So they're probably going to be more than $20. But they're going to be pretty badass. So if you guys want one of those, let me know. I'm going to do pre-orders on those uh, just so I don't have a box of jerseys not getting sold. So I will send those out in a bit. And if you guys don't want to do that, let me know and then I won't do it. I'll just get jerseys for myself. No big deal either way. Last thing. I don't like how these end all the time. It's usually just me going beep, boop, 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 but, or boop, but, or see you later or something stupid like that. So I'm going to start ending with a question. So this week's question, if you guys could leave it in the comment below because I don't know why I'm curious about this part of my nature, who I am. <laughs> Curiosity! If you could meet somebody dead or alive, who would it be and what's the first question you would ask? After a concert this weekend, it kind of solidified my answer that I would love to meet Bill Murray. He's pretty badass. So, let me know. I'm kind of curious. Bye! Or do I? If you remember last week, I was saying I wasn't feeling very well. I got through Monday's sled workout. Last weekend, Steve and Caroline asked me to babysit. Yeah, I love babysitting. I love your kids. It'll be super fun. <laughs> so they let me do it. I always think, like, why would you ask me to babysit? Do you see what I do in those vlogs? Do you know what's going to probably happen with your kids? <laughs> and this is part of what happened. So we start over today. Or right, last week, since I'm making this a week later. So since this is vlog 69. Let's talk about positions and posture. That's inappropriate, Sean. That's super inappropriate. This is supposed to be a PG-13 vlog. So after last season, you know, and I had those meetings with Steve and Caroline and a lot of time to reflect, kind of was watching my good vaults and my bad vaults. And I started to realize there were some postural issues that I really wanted to correct. 